Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Finally, there are some new updates related to TED-BF program which is being designed and developed for Indian Navy. The twin-engine deck-based fighter is a Canard Delta Wing twin-engine carrier-based multi-role combat aircraft currently under development. It is designed and developed by Aeronautical Development Agency and will be manufactured by HL. The first flight of this fighter is planned in the year 2026. Indian Navy is working closely with TIDO and ADA on this project. ADA has earlier worked out two configurations for TED-BF program, Delta Canard and Trapezoidal with Tail. As per the latest update, the Preliminary Service Quality Requirements or PSQR are now defined and Indian Navy has selected the Delta Canard Wing configuration. The wind tunnel testing of its scaled model is being performed. The same model was displayed in Aero India Show 2021 as well. The design of the frontal section of the aircraft has been improved for reduced radar cross section. The canard wings will help in generating more lift for the aircraft while launching from aircraft carrier and perform aggressive maneuvering at lower speed and aid in landing on the aircraft carrier. The fighter will feature a folding wing configuration which helps the aircraft to occupy less space in the confined hangar of the aircraft carrier thus reducing the footprint of aircraft when parked on the flight deck or inside the hangar. There are many systems which are yet to be developed. ADA, Navy and HL are working in coordination for development of foldable wings and landing gear system. The landing gear system should be capable to withstand 26 ton TED BF during takeoff and landing. As per the plan, first prototype of TED BF is supposed to be rolled out by 2025 and first flight is planned by 2026. Initial trials will be done on shore based test facility at Goa and the last phase trials will be conducted on the aircraft carrier. TED BF will have short takeoff but arrested recovery stow bar type system. TED BF production has been planned from 2030 onwards. The first batch of IOC configuration is planned to be rolled out from 2034. The TED BF would host indigenous sensors and avionics which are already developed under the existing Tejas programs and which are under the advanced stage of development for Tejas MK2 and MK programs. It will come with a scaled up Uttam AAC radar with air and ground sea mode scanning capabilities which is under final stage of testing. TED BF will incorporate advanced sensor fusion technology for better situational awareness and an indigenous data link and communication system for secure communication and exchange of sensor data. It will feature foldable wing, sharp edge frontal fuselage, divertless supersonic inlet, canards and leading edge extension. It will have maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons with a service ceiling of 60,000 feet. It will be powered by two GE414 IN6 turbofan engine. The 414G IN S6 is the highest thrust F414 model and includes state-of-art technology to meet Indian Navy requirements. Technical advances includes a full authority digital electronic control FADEC and added single engine safety features. The engine can generate a thrust of more than 97.9 kN with afterburner. By the time it hits the production, Indian Navy and GTRE hopes to fly TED-BF with indigenous engines. DRDO has already signed a MOU with Rolls-Royce and Safran to develop a high thrust turbofan engine out of Kaveri. With the advanced powerful engine, it can attain maximum speed of 1.6 Mach which is slightly less than MCA. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.